Gosh, what a crazy time right now. We just got word that the United States uh, extends their stay-at-home measures until April 30th, moving it back from its original Easter deadline. You know, the U.S. stock market is still trying to recover from the massive losses that it's seen over the past, you know, month or so. And cryptocurrency prices are still down. So we're clearly, you know, still in the middle of this crazy pandemic, all right? And I made a few videos recently talking about why it's so so important for us to have blockchain in the midst of this crisis. You know, uh, Bitcoin is finding some support here. So maybe there's hope for Bitcoin to be an alternative store of value, especially when other governments are responding uh, with basically printing money in the midst of this crisis, all right? Basically devaluing our currency. Um, you know, why we need transparency in blockchain to hold the media accountable during a time like this, and also how censorship resistance is so important so that we can maintain free speech in the midst of a crisis, okay? So in order to achieve all these kinds of benefits, um, we need blockchain ready for prime time, all right? So that more people can use it. And that's what Ethereum 2.0 is all about. All right. So with all this crazy that's that's happening in the world right now, with all these businesses being shut down and entire economies just frozen, um, is this going to delay Ethereum 2.0 from you know arriving, especially when we need it the most? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. All right. I'm going to talk about you know where Ethereum 2.0 is and its roadmap and what we can maybe expect to see in the future. All right. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University, and on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain developer step by step, uh, then I've got a free training that'll show you how to do just that. Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right. So is Ethereum 2.0 going to get delayed by all this craziness? All right. So if you're not familiar with what Ethereum 2.0 is, basically it's a new and improved version of the Ethereum platform. All right. So if you're a user of Ethereum right now, whether you hold Ethereum or you've ever used any kind of blockchain application or dApp powered by Ethereum, maybe DeFi or something like that, um, then you're a user of Ethereum 1.0. And while it's such an amazing technology, it still has a few limitations, all right? Namely in scaling. Okay, so it can only handle so many transactions per second, and it can only uh, also handle so much volume, all right? There's a real bottleneck that uh, exists in Ethereum 1.0, and that's exactly what Ethereum 2.0 tries to uh, improve. And we've been waiting for this for such a long time. Every time we hear about a release date of Ethereum 2.0, it keeps getting pushed back. Back in 2019, we had high hopes that we would see Ethereum 2.0 arrive in Q1 of 2020. And here we are at the end of Q1 2020, no Ethereum 2.0 yet. And we see more recent updates that say uh, with 95% confidence that we would see a July 2020 launch. So recently there was an online AMA on Reddit with some of the ETH 2.0 team and they were asked about this and they said, hey, you know, probably Ethereum 2.0 is going to arrive in July of 2020, that's Q2. And the coincidence here is that it would be um, on Ethereum's fifth birthday, you know, Ethereum 1.0. So exactly five years later, you'd see ETH 2.0 roll out, okay? So... That was in February, and that was really before uh, this pandemic spread to many other parts of the world, or at least before uh, other parts of the world started responding to this in earnest, all right? And we've seen, you know, the craziness that's happened in result, uh, entire economies frozen, businesses closed down, everybody closed down. So that was in February, and here we are a month later, and the real question is, are we going to see these projections um hold true? Like, are we actually going to see ETH 2.0 arrive in July? So we still don't know the answer to that question. And I haven't seen any kind of official news from the team about whether this is going to cause a delay. But, you know, in this AMA and in other places, you know, they talked about the, the need for this to arrive in 2020. All right. So I'm hopeful that we're still going to see it happen in this year. Um, I'm also hopeful that they'll continue to meet their deadline and actually release it in Q2, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. All right. So let me also clarify what it means by Ethereum 2.0 arriving in 2020, because it's not like they just are going to press a button and, you know, then magically we have ETH 2.0, all right? It's gonna happen over time in different phases. And before you get completely discouraged by a delay, uh, I just wanna clarify that it wouldn't be a delay in the entire thing rolling out in July anyway, all right? So Ethereum is gonna roll out in multiple phases, all right? Like I said, you can't just like flip a switch and then automatically you have Ethereum 2.0. Let me explain why. All right, so the types of problems that Ethereum 2.0 uh, 
tr- aims to improve are essentially its throughput and its transaction speed, okay? So the transaction speed is basically transactions per second, and the throughput has to deal with the block time, like the amount of time it takes for each transaction to uh, finish. And there are other things, but those are the primary uh, things that I want to see improved in Ethereum 2.0 in order for it to really get you ready for prime time, okay? So, you know, you accomplish that in multiple different ways, okay? Ethereum has uh, different aspects to this upgrade, one of which is Casper or proof of stake. That's essentially uh, moving Ethereum's current consensus algorithm away from proof of work, which is mining, uh, to proof of stake, and it's Casper, all right? The other is uh, sharding. That's basically taking the blockchain and uh, instead of everyone having to do everything in the blockchain, it it sort of breaks up into smaller blockchains so that there's shared responsibility across the network uh, in smaller groups, okay? And that, uh, that basically helps speed things up as well. And then also Plasma, which is introducing uh, other side chains to handle some of the uh, operations of Ethereum to take some of the load off of the main chain itself, okay? So these are all different parts of, you know, this Ethereum 2.0 that we need in order to, you know, improve this, okay? And we don't just improve all these things at the same time. You work on each part individually, and then you get this added benefit at the end that is Ethereum 2.0, all right? So uh, I've got this roadmap pulled up here. This is from Ethub. It's a really great resource. I highly recommend you check this out. If I remember, I'll put a link to this down in the description below. But this talks about the different phases of Ethereum 2.0, all right? So, uh, you know, with this original uh, July release date that we were were advertised, that was for phase uh, zero, so phase zero is the beacon chain, all right? And that just gets the whole thing started. You can see here, uh, the beacon chain will manage the Casper proof of stake protocol for itself and all the other sh- uh, shard chains, all right? So a lot of different aspects to this, you know, one of which uh, is ETH2, the new ether. So basically, um, this will be the asset for stakers that they use uh, to be validators on the uh, beacon chain. All right, so you can read more about this, uh, but these are the types of things that would happen in phase zero. So it's not the complete picture, right? So like, for example, if you wanted to stake on ETH2 on phase zero, you can't actually withdraw, at least that's what it looks like here, okay? Um, so after that, we need phase one, all right? And that's that's the next one. So this is where shard chains come into play. Um, you can look at different things here, like cross links. I mean, there's a lot to go over in this. And quite frankly, I don't totally understand everything that's uh, going on with these phases. I want to read more up on this myself uh, so that I can understand this better. All right. Then we got phase two and it goes on and on. All right. So I'll put a link to this down in the description below so that you can read more about this and, you know, get a better idea of what's going to happen as Ethereum 2.0 rolls out over time. But this at least gets you started and understand what people mean by you know, the arrival of Ethereum 2.0 and when we're actually going to get this, this total benefit. All right. So, um, are we gonna see a delay? We don't know yet. So I'm hoping to hear something from the official team about this. If we see official news about this, go ahead and comment down in the comment section below. I'll try to keep you all updated uh, as well so that you can you know, kind of get your expectations set for when we're gonna see this and if we're gonna see a delay from the pandemic that's happening right now, all right? So I hope you all like this video. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And if you wanna learn how to become a blockchain developer step-by-step, step, uh, then you should join the free training over at dappyuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I can show you how to do exactly that. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Daffy Diversity.